to talk about tonight, to this evening, is um, I heard a so-called president, one president, say if it be an alien invasion, would everybody put their differences aside and help fight the alien invasion? No, because they them are our people's up over your head. And like I said, been not now, Israelite pull up a gun to shoot towards them. Nope. Them is not aliens. Them are your, are your ancestors. And our kin peoples up over their head. It's not an alien invasion. They want you to think it's an alien invasion so everybody can go to try to shoot at it. Melanated people is not shooting at that. I'm sorry to bust your bubble. If anybody be shooting at that, it's going to be y'all. Okay? So when they get on that TV talking about it's an alien invasion, no. Them are our peoples up over their head. Them are the peoples of the Most High God. The Creator. It's coming to put this earth back in its rightful place. So no, ain't nobody finna help them fight. No, Joe sure ain't. I hate to be the one bust your bubble, but it's not gonna work. No. Cause I know y'all got fire, but I think they got some too. So no. Mm-mm. The melanated people is finna help the melanated people. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's finna help the mel. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They finna help their own. It's time. Tired of all these cool, all this crooked stuff in this earth. Thank you, Lord. So no, ain't nobody finna help y'all fight nothing, no alien invasion. Because your own government's supposed to be trying to pull off a fake alien invasion. But no, look how that light up. See how it light up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, hate to be the one bush above. So, that's all I got for today. Sorry. Mm-mm. Nope, not this time around. They ain't finna help you fight in no wars either. Hate to bush above on that tip. <laughs> So with that being said, I want to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raha Kadash, Pele Hubertons, connect names of the Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to your brothers living this truth. And shalom to you sisters and brothers listening and standing, show yourselves approved. Shalom. So as you just seen in that clip right there, all our elders are not stupid. Some of my elders know what's going on. And I like how she said, I'm about sick of you coons. You know, and she know what Esau about to do. She already know their next move. They're going to fake a alien invasion to try to get everybody on the same page to fight a war for them. And, and like, like uh, Granny said right there, we ain't going for it. The ones of us that's been built up in this truth, that know the situation, we're not about to go for that. We're not going to fight your wars no more, Esau. You on your own. Like she said, she said, about now Israelite better not shoot. Look, she knew we was Israel. Now, she didn't know those are called the chariots, and those are the angels of the Lord. You know, she was off on that, but she knew enough. All she needed is an Akim to come through and fill her in. She knew enough to get the ball rolling. And what she said really uplifted my spirit because it showed me that all our elders are not stupid. 
Some of them know what's going on. Some of them know Yahweh Shah about to crack that sky. And they know our salvation is coming soon. It's coming soon. They clip her third, man. That's what I said. For her to feel that. And I think she's just feeling that through the spirit. You know, the, the zeal right there. Like, she ain't even built up with the knowledge yet. She just knows that the Most High is about to visit this place. She said the corruption, the coons. And she said he about to set everything in, in, in back right in order. And she's so correct. So correct. And salvation is very coming soon. Very near. Esau going to have to pull that move that she just said he was going to pull. And the president she was talking about was Ronald Reagan, which we'll get that clip later on. Which we'll watch because she, she remembered that. She probably remembered when he said that. Because she was older. She was alive. Us, I had to Google that. You know, I heard him say that on YouTube. I seen that a long time ago before I came in the truth. But he said that, and she showed right. And now they're about to pull that card. And Ronald Reagan also put in the King Alpha Rex 84. He signed that into law during his presidency. They're about to pull that move, too. They're about to attack the Israelites because what? We're about to get salvation. Yahweh Shah is about to come and gather up that precious fruit he's been waiting for. And Yahweh is going to protect us from this devil putting his hands on us. So... Hey, our spirits is uplifted. We looking like we about to go home. World War III about to pop off. These economies are collapsing. The dollar is next to collapse. Other people's uh, money, economy has already collapsed. The U.S. is next. They're even talking about, they got a wacko commercial for New York City. Time to prepare for a nuclear strike. Talking about getting a house. Like, like that's going to do something, man. A nuclear, going to blow your house to smithereens. <laughs> I said, hey, we, we got to think. Hey, we got to give all praise and glory to you. How about y'all shot that we in this truth? Because these people that's not, they ain't going to have a clue what's about to hit. And they're going to be fighting. Shalaki, it's been a long day, y'all, Shalaki. They're going to be fighting the ones that don't know what's up and the ones that's in the military. They're going to be fighting their own power. They're going to be fighting Yahweh Bashmi, I was shot. They're going to get blew off the map for that. Because you should have been done, came up out of the, the place out of Babylon. That, that Babylonian mindset. You should have been there, came out of the scripture said. Come up out of her, my people. So the most hard, he done sealed the elect. The elect about sealed. Everybody that was going to come into the truth, uh, come into the fold. And now it's just, hey, next is, is judgment. And everything's about this on the books, too. And it's about to roll out. I remember talking to my op, Kadar Sahan, and we was like, man, this thing is, it's moving fast. It's quicker than we thought. Like, this thing is going to be here sooner than what i had anticipated so I, I just feel grateful i'm in this truth and, and i'm built up and i'm ready for what you know how the most high gonna lay it out there because it, it's about to hit we we there i mean very soon it look like this place ain't even got another year we was giving this place like five six years i know you ain't supposed to put dates because only most high i know but we going by you know measuring the prophecies and the dollar collapse is gonna bring on that, that crown prophecy like everything is in play we ain't, ain't too much left on the table. <laughs> Everything's been pushed forward. And I notice as we move quicker to prophecy, it's like it's speeding up. We almost, where, where we at? In the uh, middle of July already? Like time is moving by really, really fast. The prophecy is moving by fast. It's going down, y'all, Sharala. So with that being said, let's get to the scriptures. Let's go to Romans. Because this thing, our salvation is here. And she knew it too. Salvation going to come through them chairs. That's going to be the new age art. They're going to destroy this place and also be scooping up the hopeful elect and, and beaming us up to be caught up with Yahweh Shah and the fathership. Going to be transporting us to the fathership. And we're going to get that in the scriptures too. So let's pull this out right here. This is Romans 13 11. And it reads, And then knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believed. And that is so true, man. We got to thank the Most High. He woke us up. The majority of our people are still asleep. They don't know what's going on. They still partying. They ain't even like, they don't even know the famine about to hit. They ain't even got no food put up for the famine. This is going to hit them like all of a sudden. And they're going to bug out to the max. Because they don't know our salvation is near. They don't know to get ready. They don't know your house shy is coming. Us over here in this truth, we got our spiritual bags packed. We ready to go. Like, this place, this thing's about to go very, very soon. Real soon. Like, I can see Esau 
really kicking in a high gear once the summer is up. About September, like be on the lookout for some very, very big, impactful things to happen. Although they're happening now, they're happening now. But watch for a dramatic change in the way we live in Babylon the Great once the summer is up. Stay tuned for that, y'all. If not sooner, because <laughs> they say this thing, they can pull it in at any day now. You know, just say, oh, all oh, oh, the numbers is going up. This is bad. Up, oh, up, oh, that doesn't happen. Martial law, boom, we right there. You can just hit over overnight. So that precept is big time, and that, that speaks to us more than it did to our ancestors because they was waiting on this time we had. That's why we're in a very privileged time. We're about to see, Lord willing, part of that precious, hopefully, lack, we're about to see Yahweh with our eyes. He's about to show himself. In this physical plane, when he cracked them skies. So, with that being said, let's keep it moving. And I'm gonna shake it off, man. It's been a long day, Yashra. A long day. Let's go to second address 14 and 14. Second address 14 and 14, it reads Let go forth the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Man, you peep, they say put off the weak nature. All these little thoughts, all my, my 401k, right? Uh, my retirement, I ain't gonna get to do my retirement. Uh, I don't know, my car, my car gonna pay off. I don't know how I'm gonna eat. I don't know, you know, they cut the lights out, what I'm gonna do. All the mortal thoughts, man. Now it's time to get spiritual and, and lean on your faith. Lean on your faith. The Habashashag is gonna make a way for you. We in this truth, we've been doing the works. So let Yahweh take a hold and work his magnificent works. Let go of these mortal thoughts, which really is, is doubt, is what it is. It's, uh, for men, I ain't got no wife. I, I need a wife. I ain't got no wife or a female. I ain't got no, no hopeful like man. I ain't got no man. Don't worry about that. Or my children. What about my children? My children go make it. Hey, if your children above the age of 12 and they ain't coming to this truth, Hey, they, they not going to make it. So you might as well just let that go, man. And go to the book of Job. He got did the same way. So, you know, and there ain't no guarantee of us that got children that's in the age of innocence that's going to make it. You know, we got to let go of these mortal thoughts and put our trust in Yahweh Bashiach Shah is what we got to do. Because doing that, creating that doubt ain't the time to do that. That's going to make you like a bug out. Now our faith should be strengthening up. Our faith should really be shining bright because all these prophecies that's coming out and everything the Most High said he was going to do, he's doing it. So, I mean, if he's doing these prophecies and making all that happen, you know, trust in the Lord that he's going to make a way for you. You and yours, if they under the age of innocence. Now, if they over the age of 12 and they ain't in this truth, man, and they they, they done. Your family, your, your children, all that is going bye-bye. You know, you got to let that go, like the scriptures say. Cast away the burdens of man. Worrying about your job and how you gonna pay rent and all that, that's mortal thoughts. We now it's time to man just get totally spiritual, man. It's time to lean all the way. We might be a hey, like the scriptures say, live like pilgrims on the earth. Cause this thing is about to hit hard. So check it out. I want to get to 15 too. And it reads, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and hasty to fly from these times. Woo, you peeped. I'm gonna read that last part again. And haste thee to time. Salaki, and haste thee to fly from these times. Do they say fly? We are going to fly from these times, whether it be spiritual power or whether it be in a chariot. We're going to fly. And that should be what you be hoping for. Because this place is about to get hit with ICBM nukes. Babylon Great know they're about to get hit with nukes. They already doing warning signs and commercials for what to do on a nuclear strike. They know they're about to get hit with nukes. So like the scripture said right there, hasty the time to fly from these times. And set aside the thoughts that are the most heavy unto thee. So all these little worldly thoughts, how I'm going to make it, how I'm going to eat, all that, man, let that go. Yahweh said that we will eat, my servants shall eat, my servants shall drink. Trust in the Lord. Now our faith got to kick in. That, that, that precious gift that we got faith, that has to show itself. That has to kick in. And your faith should be that I'm about to get in on the chariot. That should be your faith and your hope right there. Is he on the chariot? That's the only way out of here. So let's prove that. Because that's what Eve was talking about. She's like, they talking about an alien invasion. They made aliens. 
That's our help right there. That's our people. Because the most high, or your high shot, the sun is going to come from the sky. They're going to call him an alien and try to get in their ships, which you can prove. I can prove that. Esau got a space force. Esau has a space force. He ain't got a space force for no reason. He has a space force because he's going to try to fight Yahweh Shah. He know Yahweh Shah coming. That's why they're going to try to jump on us before he get here. They're going to jump on us with their military. They're going to think like if I destroy all Israelites, then I can offset him from coming back because he's coming back for them. So if I eliminate them, what, who are we going to come back to save if they all, you know, I done, I done thrust them all through with my guns. But like, how about Shah Shah said in the word? He's going to protect us, hopefully. Like the sleeper cells are here. 144,000 are here. They're going to wake up at that time, too, and they're going to bash Esau. <laughs> so the hopeful leg will be saved and preserved so that they can see Yahweh Shah with all his glory covered. So check it. Let's read this. This is Matthew 24 and 30. And then shall appear the son, sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Did you hear that? It said the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. He's going to come in that fathership chariot. He's going to come. There's going to be chariots around that chariot. Because those chariots are going to go out and pick up the whole flat and bring everybody back to the fathership chariot. And that's what it said. A sign of Son of Man in heaven. In heaven. And check it out. The further, I'm going to hit 31 too. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. And they should gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of the heaven to the other. So, bam, that back of the statement I just made. Yahashua is going to come in that fathership chariot. He's going to come with the other chariot. You're going to have chariots destroying this place. You're going to have chariots beaming up the whole full elect from all four winds. The four winds going to four directions, north, south, east, and west. Everywhere, wherever his whole full elect at, they're going to get beamed up. Something like out of a sci-fi movie. See, you got to have faith to even believe that. Although Esau's telling you that. Esau said that UFOs are real. He said they real. He been they Esau been knowing about them. He just don't want Jake to know that. He don't want Jake to know that our help is on the way. Like they Eve know. I said they couldn't stop their Eve from knowing. She know. We know that our help is on the way. We're not about to be trying to shoot at the chair. Nah, man. That's that's like our taxi. That's like our lifeboat. That's coming to get us. To get us out of here, like a Uber, like a heavenly Uber or a heavenly lift. Like that spiritual too to say a lift. It's gonna lift us up, and we're gonna be caught up in the air with Yahweh Shah to meet our Lord and Savior. That's our way out of here. That's our ticket out of here. That's why the whole point you should be in this truth is to get salvation and to get on the chariot. That should be your hope. That should be your focus. That should be your focus. Like I read in that scripture earlier, let go of the mortal thoughts. Let go and worry about this worldly stuff. This world is it's done with, man. It's over with. Trying to do like, make sure your house looking good. Uh, trying to make sure your relationship is on point. And this, all these little worldly Babylonian things are done with. Your mind should be on what's in heaven. The kingdom. That's where your mindset should be at. Because that's where we're, we're going. We're about there. This place done. We're at the end of this thing. So if you got any Babylonian American hopes and dreams, I feel sorry for you. Because they're not going to come true. Because this place is done. Finished. Finito. Been done. It's been bleeding now. Just now you can really see it. Sputtering. You can really see this place is done. That's why, hey, I, I put up, I was commenting on Mahala House page. Like, my spiritual bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I'm not worried about all the little, another little stuff right here. Now, yeah, we still got to maintain ourselves where everything is still up but your mindset your mind should be in the heavens it should be thinking on the kingdom because that's what's about to come man all this little stuff here these little matters man they don't matter anymore these little trivial things these little mortal thoughts they don't matter no more we getting spiritual now because hey yahweh shah is on the way and he wants those that are dwelling on the kingdom that have the doctrine that know the word, that's full of righteousness, full of faith, and ready to establish the kingdom. Ready to go. We ready. That's the mindset we should be in. And then to prove 
what that Eve was talking about. Let's go get that. Let's peep that out. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? Woo, you pee what that devil said? He said, perhaps we need an alien invasion. <laughs> you heard it? You peep how he said that perhaps we need. They're going to do it. And it's going to be orchestrated and fake. And they're going to try to get us to fight against our power. Because they look at us as stupid, dumb monkeys. And the two-thirds are going to go right along and do it. The whole elect, hey, like the scriptures say, if, if it were possible, even the elect could be fooled. But we are not fooled. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We already know you about to do that. He said, is there not an alien already among us? Man, they count us as aliens. They know the whole flag are, are spiritually from another place. They know that. So they're going to attack us. They're going to jump on us and try to eliminate us. And then they ain't got time to, you know, too much. They already did a sifting. That little scenario they did, that was a sifting right there to see who going to comply and who not going to comply. So they know who they can already fool and trick. And then they know who they can't fool and trick. And they're going to have to deal with us harshly with their military. They already know that's on the books. They, they, but, but pretty much, they try to see who coons and who not coons. And he got his numbers, and he's going to run it. So the new devils, man, they something else, man. That, that devil's a straight devil, Ronald Reagan. I mean, I mean, they all devils, but that dude, he's, he's something else right there. So let's get back to the scriptures. And that's what she was talking about. She was like, that. I heard a president say they're going to be an alien. They're going to have us fighting the aliens. She's talking about Ronald Reagan. I remember seeing that on the YouTube. And there it go. And we know better. Them ain't aliens. Them is chariots. See, we done figured that out. That, that marvelous light has shined so bright that now we know what a UFO is. It's not a UFO. It is identified. And it's a chariot, an angel of Yahweh Bashi Shah. And they purpose is to destroy this place and also pick up the hopeful elect. So we already know that they function, they purpose, and we're our hope is that we get picked up by a chariot. That's the only way to escape this thermonuclear fallout that's about to happen to this place. It's gonna hit get hit with millions and millions of thermonuclear missiles is what's on the clock for Babylon the Great. Thermonuclear destruction. And then, like, whatever the nukes don't get, the chariot's gonna be burning up. This place is about to burn up with fervent heat, man. It's gonna be nothing left of Babylon the Great. Guaranteed. So with that being said, you know, like I know, man, the best thing to be is in this truth. Learning the word of Yahweh Shai and trying to put on that righteousness, putting on, therefore, like the elect. Because what we want that the elect going to get? Salvation and the kingdom. We want that. So that's why we put on, therefore, like the elect. Minds ready. Minds on heavenly things. And we stay, a, hey, we stay on the gas. So check it out. I'm going to read this. is 1 Thessalonians 4 and 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from the heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh. And the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. You peep that. So even if you lose your life to this devil during the whole Jacob's trouble, you're going to rise first if you got martyred. You're going to rise first during the resurrections. That's why I say if you got your how about you shine got the truth, there's really no losing. There's no losing at all. You, you really won by getting the truth. That's why the devil tries so hard to run a propaganda campaign. Because once you get the truth and you really believe in it, your faith is sealed, 
Once you're sealed, it's a wrap. There's nothing the devil can do because he can even take his, your life away from you and you'll rise first during the resurrection. First fruits of the kingdom. And now, like I said, it said the Lord himself should descend from heaven with the shout. Man, that shows he's going to crack them skies. When Esau think he got it made, and it's all done, he, man. You have shot gonna show up, then he gonna say, Oh, he gonna have an explanation already right there. Oh, those are aliens. The aliens are coming to get us. And that's what he's gonna use to everybody will try to band together at that point and try to attack this outside force, which is our help. And like she said, we ain't helping you damn devils. We ain't fighting in your wars. You on your own, you damn devil. You are on your own. So check, I wanna keep reading, I wanna hit uh 17. And it says, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And that's very comforting right there. Did you peep that scripture out? It said, us alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. The cloud is synonymous with a chariot. Caught up in the chariots. And we're going to meet the Lord in the air. We're going to go to the fathership. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Once you get into that fathership, hey, you made it to the finish line. You're going to get your new bodies. You're going to get your new body, which is going to be perfect. Then you're going to be perfect. And then after that, the kingdom getting established, man. Everything getting burnt up, blew up. And we're going to come back off the church. And we're going to establish the kingdom of heaven. We're going to have a workforce and everything. We're going to have our rest. And then we're going to be able to establish righteousness. The laws and commandments are going to play. Our holy days are going to be the holidays. And we ain't got to work no more. Punch no devil clock. Be here because it is for this devil. None of that, man. It's going to be all heavenly type of things, man. We're going to go back to seeing Israel on top of everything, on everything. We own the stores. The, the money got our face on it. You pay taxes to us. We dictate where you going to be, what you going to have. We back in the power seat. <laughs> and that right there is the gospel. And that right there is something that's very comforting. Because that's what we are promised. It's right there in the scripture. We just read it. <laughs> the Lord is coming. And then I know the Lord coming is very spiritual. I talked to my mother today again. And uh, she knows it. I mean, she ain't like a believer or nothing like that. But she's like, the Lord is angry. The Lord is angry. He's coming. All this wickedness. And, like, and for my mother to say that, that's huge. Because she's, really, she's not a believer. So for her to say that, for her to say that, you know it's a wrap. You know it's a wrap. Even people that's unbelievers is like, yeah, so it's, it's done for. Like, you know, but what trip me out, they still ain't going to come into the truth, though. They can see that, but they still be like, well, if I put some money back, if I get a bunker, you know, it's always something carnal. It's never, they're just not spiritual. But they do know this place is done. You know, the ones that got sent. And I'm just like, uh, everything that's going on just got my faith on blast very highly. I'm, I'm very excited. This is exciting times. The scriptures are coming alive before our very eyes. Everything the Most High said he was going to do, he's doing it. And, and it's happening just the way he wrote it up. And it's just a very beautiful works, man. Very yop, a very good movie. Yeah, how about you try to put it up? And I'm just hoping, Lord willing, I'm part of the precious hopefully elect. Because I want to be a part of the first fruits of starting and establishing the kingdom. That's my desire. I want the kingdom of heaven. I want to be a part of establishing that. So therefore, like the scriptures say, put on like the elect. And we're going to stay on the gas. As long as we're supposed to be out here doing the work. We're going to keep the faith. Because if you're really about this, your faith should be increasing. My faith is increasing. Each time prophecy unfold, I'll be like, dang, there it go. Dang, there go another one. Yes, sir. We out of here. It's like watching a, a mile marker when you like on the road traveling to another city. And every time the prophecies hit, it's like, man, we 50 miles out. Now we 40 miles out. Now we 30 miles out. So I can see us getting closer and closer and closer to going home. And I so, I'm so ready for that. I'm yearning for the kingdom. I'm so sick of Babylon the Great. I'm sick of this place. I hate the way it runs. I hate looking at these people's face when I got to go to work. And Esau just has to be just, he just pisses me off. And I'm ready for the kingdom where everything is going to be the way I want it to be. 
It's going to be righteousness reigning out, a righteous order, a righteous kingdom with clean everything. Then I have time. Now it's like you ain't got enough time in the day, man. You get woe out, get tired. I'm ready for that perfect body that doesn't get tired. I'm ready to, to get in that chariot, check the features out, see how fast it go, where I can go, what it can do. I'm just, I'm so ready for the kingdom, Yashua. I'm so ready for the kingdom. You see everything that's, that the Most High got in store for us. And we close. We're very, very close and very near. So all we got to do is endure and hold on. Hold on. Hold on to your horror head because it's about to hey, it's about to take a real bumpy ride because this devil, he about to go out with a bang. This devil is terrified. He's scared. He know the prophecies unfolding out. So he like, you know what? It's like we went in a race. He trying to throw something in our way. He trying to clip us so we stumble and fall. That's what that devil trying to do. He's going to try to do that. We ain't going to let him do that, though. We got that good balance. We, we going to keep running the race. We're going to do it to the end because we, we right there. We right there at the end. We're like when you're running in, in track and field and you get to the finish line, you stretch it forward to break the tape. That's all we got to do, y'all. We could do that little stretch forward. And then like the last little bit of energy, they call it a kick. It's time to let that kick kick in, that faith. Time to, you know, show how valuable that oil is. It's time to have that faith, y'all, Sherala, because we are there. And it's got me in a very happy spirit, happy mood. I hope this lesson has uplifted your spirit and get you in a good mood. I hope it was edifying, informative, and just open your eyes that, hey, we, we almost home. We almost home free. Well, we'll be free. We'll get sovereignty again. <laughs> you know, we need that. We desperately need that, Yahshua. We need sovereignty. We need the kingdom. We need Yahweh Shah. Very, very bad. So that being said, Kwame Yashrala, DTA, Ababa Bob, and Shalom Wong.